Hey guys, Omar here, and in the last video we talked about why I black and white some photographs, and in this one I thought I'd continue that and shoot black and white on the Fuji X-T20 and show you how you can control black and white just using the camera. Now if you are shooting black and white, I recommend that you shoot JPEG and RAW together because a RAW file will hold all your color information in case you hate your black and white. You could always go to the RAW file and bring it back to color, or you can take that raw file and edit it into a better black and white using software like Lightroom or Capture One or even your phone. Also understand that I'm showing you how to sort of manipulate your JPEGs to give you certain looks, but you can also change that on a JPEG. You can add contrast and add black. It's just a little harder than a raw file, which gives you more information. So we're gonna shoot with a budget set here. I'll show you the set. We'll shoot a little bit of black and white so that maybe you can start doing your own still life, whatever, it's just to help you a little bit. Let's go. All right, here's what we got going on with our still life studio. We have the Fuji X-T20. I've got the Flashpoint Mini Dude, which is controlling. I'll show you in here. Okay, in here is the Zoom Lithium Ion by Flashpoint. And so this little flash for the Fuji actually can talk to this one and control it. And so I have that on a grid and I've got a little budget black background with a bowl of fruit and this little burlap thingy, which has nice texture to it. I also have a white card thingy, which uh, will bounce a little bit of light back into the fruit because you need light on fruit and a sharpener, which is holding it up. All right, guys, so we have our little still life scene set up. Got my flash set up. And let's take one picture. Okay, and I'll share each of these. That's uh, standard. Probia, baby. Velvia, baby. Velvia, Velvita. There it is. Okay. And let's go to Astia Soft. Okay, fruit in classic chrome. Ew, that looks disgusting. Actually, that looks kind of nice. Uh, this is Pro Neg. Nice. This is Pro Neg Standard. The other one was eh. very cool. And now we're getting, oh, we forgot sepia. Yeah, oh, that's hot. Okay, let's start with basic black and white. So if you're thinking about black and white with a general scene like this, there's two things you need to think about is color basically a factor like if there's like the fruit for example is in color or is color not a factor which is the little flower thing that we have there so let me show you that real quick i'll show you overall and then we'll zoom into each of the items so one way you can change black and white is if color is not an option you can mess with the tones so if you go to your quick menu um, now you may not see these options here i have them on my quick menu shadows and highlights if you don't see them there, get out of the Q menu, hold down the Q, and then you will basically get to your Q menu and then you can sort of add options. You just hit OK and, and you know, like you hit OK and then you pick which one you want. You want highlights and tones, okay? But just make sure you're out of the Q menu. If you're in the Q menu and you hold down, it's gonna give you options for custom. You don't want that. You don't want that. All right, so like I said, the first way you can change the scene in black and white is with tones. So for example, if I put extra shadow, so I'm gonna put plus four, let's go ridiculous. Actually, let's do a control group. Zero, zero here. That's our black and white scene there. Very nice. And if I wanna change the image and make it more dramatic, let's go insane. Let's just say plus four shadows. Plus four shadows means your blacks are gonna be a lot blacker and that's just ridiculous. Uh, so what you, the first way, like I said, is you can play with the tones. So let's go halfway, two, very nice. And then if you feel that the scene is too contrasty with those blacks, you can go the other way. And there is no minus four. The most you can go is minus two. And now if you notice your black and white is a little bit nice and softer. If you want a black and white that is very flat, that means there isn't a lot of contrast and isn't a lot of uh, highlights, basically, you can bring the highlights down to minus two and the shadows to minus two, and then it's kind of gross looking. Anyway, 
Okay, so now, since this scene doesn't have a lot of color, it's basically just beige, uh, I'm not even gonna mess with the color filters, but what I'm gonna do is to go to the quick menu and let's zero everything out. And let's just go through the combos here. So I have my flash set up. It's on 30 second power. I am at F4, 1 25th of a second. And let's take a shot of this guy right here. Ooh, that's crunchy, nice. All right, so here, let's play this back. All right, so as you can see, wow, look at that detail on that burlap, baby. So here we have zero, zero, and it looks pretty good. It's like enough contrast from this light that I have. Uh, but again, if you're doing black and white photography, you wanna experiment, of course, that's the fun part. So let's go nuts, plus four shadows, one, two, three. And so now we have something that's a little bit more dramatic. Here, let's go between the two. You see that? And so if you have something that's interesting and has a lot of texture, there's the basic one. And here's the one we did with plus four. Now let's not go so, so extreme. And again, you can try different combos, whatever you want. I'm gonna lower the highlights. So what I'll do is minus two. Uh, actually, let's just play with the highlights by themselves so we can see. So this is minus two highlights. Okay. And this is zero highlights. And let's go nuts on the highlights. Let's plus four on the highlights. So that's using tones to make fun black and whites, okay? And let's just for fun try it with the fruit before we go into our color doohickey. All right, so now let's use contrast for the fruit. Zero everything out, zero everything out. Here we go, one, two, three. That's the fruit at zero. And again, using contrast Let's just go extreme plus three, minus one on that. And we have a little bit of an interesting black and white. You know what? We're not getting enough light there. I'm going to bring in this board. I'm going to bring it a little closer and take a shot now because I moved the fruit away. It needs a little bit of fill. Hey, Phil, I'm Bob. <laughs> there we go. That's dramatic. Okay, but sometimes the shadows going up, by the way, I told you, I'm a color photographer. Look how nice this is. Standard, bam, baby, look at that. You know, super color, Belvia. Bam, baby, that's crazy, print it. All right, here we go. We are going to black and white again, but now let's play with the filters. So let's do, let's zero everything out here. Cero, 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 cero. Okay, we are now going to play with, that's pretty flat, wow. Okay, so that's a flat, that's flat fruit right there. And what we'll do is we go to our yellow, gross. This is what your red does. And the green filter. Now red filters are the most commonly used because they change blue around. Uh, just so you get a little sense of it. Where is he? Okay, this you'll understand. Hey, there's Cap. All right, so Cap's, this is Cap Shield with the regular black and white. See that right there? But if you want to go nuts, red filter makes the red lighter. Okay, so I think what I'll do now is let's show you what Acros does. And Acros is a film simulation that is emulating a real film called Acros by Fuji. Let's go to Acros Normal, Acros Standard. Acros versus Black and White Standard. Okay, so if you look between those two, I'm wondering if we'll even notice Acros, Black and White. Acros, black and white. So Acros seems to have a little bit of a, kind of a little bit of a crunch to it. Again, your viewer's not gonna notice this stuff because what you could do is in the black and white, you can actually boost your shadows up, like maybe plus two, and you get a nice little crispy, crunchy crunch. Uh, and if you go to Acros, so now let's look at the two. Acro standard and black and white with plus two black, plus two shadows. So you see it's, it's kind of like by taste. Now the Acro's film simulation also adds like grain that's in the real film. Now if we go nuts, plus four and Acro's, I mean, forget about it. 
Look at that, that's crispy. It's crispy, lovely. Now I gotta clean all this up. 